state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, a village on the Venhakari Highway in Western Armenia. The storks return to guards despite the snow. The service center of Akhal Kalaki Javakh to get new equipment. Armenia foreign minister meets with Artsakh counterpart. Several people were killed as a result of the U.S. strike on Syria, the Washington Post. Artsakh manuscript art to be presented in Mashtots Matenadaran. Alexander Spenderian House Museum to organize a photo contest within the framework of the 150th birthday anniversary of the composer. An avalanche occurred on the Venhakari Highway in western Armenia. People survived the disaster, but there were no casualties or injuries. Dozens of cars are waiting for the road to open due to the avalanche in the Güzeldere mountain pass, which is 2,730 meters above the Venhakari Highway. The storks, heralds of spring, returned prematurely to the province of Gars in western Armenia to nest in their snow-covered nests. The fact that the storks build a nest regardless of the white snow cover surprised the locals. Storks, who spend the winter every year in warm countries, came to Gars very early this year. At first, the storks cleared the snow, then started preparing to build a nest. Later, storks began to search for food which is not so easy due to the cold weather and vegetation being under snow. The Akhakalaki Service Center will have one or two new garbage trucks. 280,000 lorries has been allocated from the local budget to buy the car, but it is possible that funds will be allocated from Japan to buy the second garbage truck, Genius.ge reports. Garbage collection is always up to date in Akhalkalaki municipality. The villagers don't know where to dump their garbage. They dump it in the forest or in the village, creating artificial landfills. Although, the service center reports that this problem will be solved soon. At this stage, the online tender for the purchase of 200 bins has already taken place. 280,000 lorries has been allocated from the budget of Akhalkalaki municipality to buy a garbage truck, but it is not clear yet when exactly the car will be bought. According to the director of the Akhal Kalaki Service Center, Arman Bichakchan, the garbage problem will be solved in the villages after buying the garbage truck. The Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Armenia, Ara Ayvazyan, met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Artsakh, David Babayan, on February 25. Ministers stressed the importance of further strengthening the cooperation and holding exchanges and consultations between the political departments of Armenia and Artsakh in order to discuss the current issues more effectively and to outline further steps. The meeting between the foreign ministers of Armenia and Artsakh focused on the humanitarian issues facing Armenia and Artsakh as a result of the recent Turkish-Azerbaijan aggression, including the urgent addressing of the Armenian captives. The need for the involvement of international professional structures was especially stressed in the context of the steps taken to stabilize the social and economic situation in Artsakh. Several people have been killed in a U.S. airstrike on pro-Iranian militant targets in Syria near the Iraq border. As Armen Press reports, the Washington Post reported. According to the source, there are bases to believe that the strike killed a small number of people. Earlier, the Pentagon said the airstrike had destroyed a number of Shia-backed infrastructure facilities backed by Iran. According to the Pentagon, this step was a response to the recent attack on U.S. and coalition forces in Iraq. U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin said that the U.S. military has relied on intelligence of Iraq and is confident in accuracy of the strike. An exhibition of Artsakh manuscripts transferred from Matenadaran Ganzasar Scientific and Cultural Center will open in Mashtots Matenadaran on March 3, where the centers of Artsakh writing will be presented. Amaraz, Ganzasar, Monastery of Yagishe Apostle, Khatzavang, Mezaran Saint Hakopavang, Khadavang, Dadivang, Yeritsmanat Monastery, Shushi. As reported by Arman Press, manuscripts written, illustrated, stored in Artsakh, Archival documents, antique books printed in Shushi will be displayed. In general, about 8,000 exhibits. The exhibition is temporary. It will be moved to Artsakh Matenadaran Ganzasar Scientific Cultural Center in case of appropriate conditions. Alexander Spenderian House Museum is organizing a photo contest entitled Yerevan It Youth within the framework of the 150th birthday anniversary of the composer. Yerevan has been an inspiration for many artists for many years. In 1925, Spenderian wrote his symphonic work Yerevan Etudes, inspired by Yerevan scenes and dedicated it to the first Yerevan Symphony Orchestra. As reported by Arman Press, the purpose of the competition is to give the opportunity to interpret the scenes of Yerevan in a new way. The contest is open to anyone, with no age restrictions. Photos must have been taken in Yerevan in the last five years. 
photos can present architectural or street photography. The photos selected by the jury as a result of the voting will take part in the exhibition. Free photos will get prizes. Photos should be sent to a.spendarian150 at gmail.com, mentioning Yerevan etudes in the subject line. Photos must be submitted from February 15 to April 1. Now we present you Gatek Tesek by Maragat Choir. The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.